Hey everyone, how's it going? So I'm here with my Tesla Model Y Performance. And in this video, I won't be talking about accessories or modification. It will be something different this time. I will be talking for all EVs owner. If you're looking to get an EV or you have an EV, you definitely want to have a charging station in your house, in your garage or outside of your garage. I am showing you here Electron V-Box 48 amp EV charging station. So very similar to that of Tesla wall connector, but this actually has a really long wire or charging cable that can reach across your at least 20, 20 uh, feet garage. They also sell other adapters as well as other charging method. If you have a new Tesla, they don't provide you with a charging cable anymore. And they probably will stop providing you this J1772 adapter. So you need this adapter to charge your Tesla vehicle at a non-supercharging station. So if you go to a level two or someone's house that has a level two charger, they might not have a Tesla. So you will have to use this adapter. Most Tesla owner should have this in their vehicle. It's always good to have a second one laying around just in case if you get stranded or you forgot this adapter at home, especially if you have the mobile connector and you don't take that with you, this adapter comes into handy when you're at a charging location that doesn't have fast charging, Tesla fast charging that is. And let's go ahead and show you what I'm speaking of here. So let me unlock the door. And that should unlock this charge port. So this is a special charge port on Tesla vehicle only. No other manufacturer use this charge port. Although I think it's probably the best out there today. Um, this is more like Apple type of type of port versus the now CCS uh, adapter or charger that you find almost everywhere. Uh, this is a level two, so you use this to connect the J1772. They sell other accessories as well. They sell this in the reverse. So let's say you have a uh, wall connector like I do here. So this is signed by Elon Musk. So this wall connector, this will be able to charge the Tesla vehicle. However, this won't be able to charge any other EV. So let's say you have a spouse or other family member that hates Tesla and they want an EV, but they just don't want to get a Tesla, but you have this wall connector, they can get a adapter. So let's say you have a Rivian and a Tesla. You can buy this Tesla to J1772 charging adapter. So how this works is the reverse of what I just shown. So let me just show you what this looks like. If you're that person that you like to charge at other people's place, but they always claim they have a wall connector, a Tesla wall connector, and, and you can't use it, get one of these and bring it to their house. Um, so they can invite you there less. I'm just, I'm just joking. You hear that click? And it's on there pretty firmly. There's a J1772. So this will work with any other EV. And let's say you get rid of your Tesla. We might do that one day. And you end up still having the wall connector. You can just get this adapter and not have to replace this wall connector. You still will get 48 amp out of this. And it's pretty hefty. So it doesn't feel cheap. Again, I'll post a link where you can find this. And then you just press down, take it off. And that is it. So that's the adapter. Now let's get back to the actual charge, at least the wall charger. Um, I will show you the difference between that one and the one we have on this wall here. So again, this is proprietary for Tesla vehicle only. So you won't be able to charge any other EVs with that. This is also, this is actually up to 80 amp. They don't sell this anymore. So um, eventually 
if other EV comes out and you can charge up to 80 amp, you actually can keep that and still use this adapter. Let me just check how, how much power you can charge using this adapter here. Um, yeah, this is only 48 amp. So I'm sure eventually if, if Tesla comes out or the EV lets you charge up to 80 amp, uh, like the old Model S and X, you were able to, uh, to charge up to 80 amp. They don't let you do that anymore. Not sure why. You can get one of these adapter. Put this aside. Let's go ahead and take a look at this V-Box 48 amp. EV charging station. So this is their top of the line wall charger. So EV charging station from Electron. Up to 40 amp. One good thing about this charging charging uh, station is that it has a NEMA 1450. It's a lot cheaper to get an electrician to install an outlet versus having them hardwire. And also if you move you can take this charger with you versus if you hardwire, you will have to rehire the electrician to uninstall it. But at that point, the buyer may want that EV charging station because it's already built into the wall. This is more of a plug and play. And I like this more. If you live in the US, you won't be able to charge up to 48 amp um, because of the regulation. And if you want to get a permit, the max you can go is 40 amp. So you're wondering why would I get this, right? So one good thing about this V-Box is that you can actually adjust the amperage that comes out of this charger. So there's four, there's actually five settings. You can set it to position zero, one, two, three, four, and that will max out at 16 amp, 24 amp, 32 amp, 40 amp, 48 amp max. Of course, you can hardwire this and install a 60 amp breaker, then you will comply with, with the installation uh, requirement in the US. But if you're going with just the plug, the NEMA 1450, you will have to lower it down to dial position three, maxing out at 40 amp. The reason for that is for safety, you don't wanna catch your house on fire. So up to 40 amp, if you do the, the plug 1450, the NEMA 1450, if you want to do 48 amp, you will hire an electrician to install a 60 amp breaker and hardwire uh, to this device. But I would recommend 40 amp is more than enough. That should gives you about 35 to 36 miles per hour range for the Model Y. And you should get closer to 48 for the Model 3. Uh, so not too bad, especially if you're charging daily or every other day, uh, that shouldn't be an issue. We were rocking the mobile charger 32 amp for a while, and that seems to be fine as well. So this is actually an upgrade from the mobile charger. One thing I like about this is that it has a display. So it, it shows you how much amp is, is spitting out and if it's charging. This is the bracket on the back. So you use this bracket to uh, mount this on the wall and then you basically just mount this after. So very easy installation. You just have to find the stud. And then as for, as for the dial that we were looking at earlier, it's back here, it's right here. So, you can adjust that from zero, one, two, three, four. So it's really up to you um, how comfortable you are. I would put it at 40 amp because I just want to max out. You can always control it from your Tesla vehicle. Your Tesla vehicle, uh, it, it does max out at 48 amp, but you can lower it uh, if you don't want it to charge too quickly. And this does come with the, uh, the adapter or the connector uh, mount as well. So it's a very clean install. So here's the, the hook. 
to hang the wires so it doesn't dangle over your actual charging station. And that is it for the box. Beefy these, these charging wires are. Just take a look at that. Very heavy. Show you the whole process on the installation. You just basically take this mount here it has four screws. It's either here or here. So now you can actually charge two vehicle because we already have a NEMA 1450 right here. We just have to plug that in. So now you have a wall connector and you have a, another level, level three charger. That's non-Tesla, so you can charge non-Tesla or use the adapter to charge the Tesla. So it's really up to you. So let's go ahead and find the studs here. Drill a couple holes on top, put the screw in, and then you just hang this charging station. And that's how you do it. So let's go ahead and get that installed. Again, I'll post a link where you can find all this uh, charging adapters as well as the charging station uh, check them out fairly affordable shipping is pretty fast it comes straight from amazon but the uh, company i believe they're based based in europe um, don't quote me on that but uh, they do have support in asia um, as well as europe and us all right I got it plugged into the NEMA 1450 and what I want to show you here as well is there's a switch on and off switch. I've never seen this before for a wall EV charging station. So the wall connecting does not have that, it's always on. This one you just press, that light is green, you have this nice welcome message, you have this nice V electron and it shows you whether it's docked or not, whether it's charging how long it's been charging, what the rate is. So again, I set it at 40 amp, 246 watt, uh, watt, and I guess that's the temperature inside the garage, or the V-Box. It has to be inside the garage. So that's nice. And right now it's showing zero amp, so you don't have to worry about getting electrocuted. You know how much amp is being pulled out, and it won't start charging until you plug it into your vehicle. So let's go ahead and try this All right, out. Let's go ahead and open up this charge port. And here's their adapter. And you need this adapter to use this charger adapter. You put that in first, an adapter first. And then it's in. Let's go ahead and see what the charge rate is. So, what are we getting here? So it slowly ramp up. It's charging. Instant charge, no delay. Pretty neat display here, how it's showing that it's charging. So it's wrapping up to 28. It should go up to 40. Again, same thing with the Tesla uh, charger. It doesn't wrap right away to uh, 48 or 32. It takes a little time. So I think it stopped at 28 because I set the vehicle to charge at max 28 amp. So let me go ahead and go inside the vehicle. It goes down softly there. Yeah, that's right. I have it at 28. So let me increase this up to 40. So the car actually recognized that I will max out at 40. So I actually stopped. Very smart. So you know the charging um, station is talking to the vehicle. So it's 40 now. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right. So I am getting up to 40 now. 
after I adjust the charging rate inside the Tesla vehicle up to 40. And again, the vehicle does recognize that this will max out at 40 amp. And it also show you how much kilowatt has entered your vehicle. So it's nice, you don't have to open your app, you have to open your car door or your display. You just basically look at this display and this charging station and see how much you put in the vehicle already. So yeah, link in the description if you're interested in this product or any of their uh, adapters. Check them out, Electron. Thanks for watching, remember to subscribe, catch you on next time. Okay. All right, so we'll have the Electron adapter from uh, NEMA 1772 to the Tesla Fast Charging. I'm just gonna plug it in. And this one is starting to activate. So it's gonna slowly ramp up, starting off one amp, three amp, nine, 12, 15, should go all the way up to 40. So less than a minute, it ramped up to 40 amp. And that's how I install it right above the Tesla wall connector by just plugging into the NEMA 1450. So now I have two charging station for both cars to be able to charge. This will be able to charge up to 48 amp. This is 40 amp because this is connected to the NEMA 1450 outlet right there. As you can see, the charging is consistent. I do like the, the light, the graphic, it looks very nice. The Tesla ones is also nice too. It gives you that pulsing um, current while you're charging. But this actually shows you the amp, so you don't have to go inside your vehicle or check your app. And also it tells you how much kilowatt has been placed inside your vehicle, which the Tesla wall connector doesn't. I mean, they're both great charger, but this gives you more flexibility, especially if you have other EVs or you wanna charge other people's vehicle, you have the option. You can't do that with the Tesla wall connector unless you get their adapter. So this is from Tesla Fast to NEMA 1772. So we'll place this here in case we have no more Tesla. You can use this charging station. Thanks for watching. I'll post a link where you can find these chargers and uh, adapters. Catch y'all next time. Remember to subscribe.